see my noodle. Hey guys, my name is Andrea and welcome to Barbie Punk. Some of you may not know this, but before I started posting on this channel again, I had a different channel called Heart Star Moon Sun where I posted like comedy videos, skits, stuff like that. Long story short, I was unhappy with the channel. I wasn't posting as often as I should and I wasn't making the content that I wanted to make. So I decided to make a channel over here where I could do whatever the heck I wanted. Something is weird with this eyelash right now. That being said, I did love making the uh, occasional skit. It was a lot of fun to do, it was a lot of fun to think up and create. So I wanted to start sort of posting more videos like that on this channel. And to get you kind of introduced to that, I was going to post a couple different videos featuring some of the skits that I made on my previous channel. Today's might be a little cringier because I'm going to be looking at my Halloween skits from the past and then I'm also going to do a video where I pick out my top five favorite skits and my top five cringiest skits or my least favorite skits so those videos are gonna come up and then I'm probably gonna have my face in the corner reacting but I'm gonna for the most part let you watch the whole video through before I give any sort of commentary. Cool? Cool. We're gonna start with this one called Types of Couples Costumes that I made five years ago. Hey guys, so as far as we can tell, there are five types of couples costumes that you can wear for Halloween. And, and they're all great. And who doesn't love couples costumes? Number one, the famous couple. So who are we supposed to be again? You're Selena Gomez and I'm Justin Bieber. Didn't they break up? Why do you think I asked you to be Selena Gomez? Oh. Number two, the gender swap. Number three, the sexy innuendo. Yeah. Number four, the shared costume. So you're just one ghost. So there's two people in there? And number five, we like to call get it, get it, get it. Get it. Oh, where's spaghetti and meatballs? Do you get it? So you can feel free to mix and match any of these categories if you so please to make your own awesome, unique costume. If you liked our video, give it a thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to let you soak in the whole video. I hate when people like pause it to say things because sometimes I'm just like, I want to know what video you're watching before you uh, say things to it. This is what I'll say. The charisma is not there. The speed in which you are getting the information out to me is not there. But some of the gags, honestly, <laughs> hold up. My humor and our humor at that point, and still to this day, is just dumb. Like, awkward and stupid. And I stand by that. I stand by this video 
<laughs> I think it holds up, but it's very slow. Like, I talk slowly now, but watching me talk even slower... If you can get through that part, there's some good jokes in this, I thought. The first one, the Selena Gomez one, oof, that one was cringy. The Selena Gomez, Justin Bieber one, A, referential, bad, uh, B, those costumes were terrible, and C, the acting on that one, yikes. But, um, the rest of it holds up. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I was there making that video, but when we were both in that ghost costume, we were absolutely dying. Oh dang, we posted like three Halloween videos that year, so the next video I'm going to be reacting to is how to make things spooky. I remember coming up with this video idea and having ideas of grandeur of how we were going to do it, and then we got this much dry ice and we had to conserve it. Basically, we weren't rich enough to make this video as I wanted it to be made, which is gonna be a theme in these skit videos, okay? Hello, and welcome to this year's edition of Halloween How-To's. I'm here with this witch, and I'm a wolf. <laughs> I'm not just any wolf. I'm a lab wolf. A lab wolf? And we're gonna teach you how to make things spooky. Well, that was rude. To make this specialty drink called Vampire's Blood, just add alcohol and your favorite kind of red. And then Make it spooky. Not spooky, Cauldron? Spooky. It has to be spooky on the go. Would you like some spaghettios? More like spookettios! Normal pumpkin? Spooky pumpkin! Ooh. Normal puddle. Spooky puddle! Normal Ooh. hot tub. Spooky hot tub! Normal ingredients. Spooky Doritos! Normal toilet! Spooky toilet! Ooh, spooky! Thanks for watching our spooky video. Okay, again, I'm gonna end it before the outro. Some of those gags, again, I stand by. And we'll say it just one more time for you that the humor here is sarcasm plus stupidity. Okay? Really slow. Really cringy. I remember so many of those gags just not working. The Doritos thing was like, you can't see it. Like I was holding a bag full of water and we we put a little piece of dry ice in it, and all of the, sp the spookiness was roiling under the surface, and we had to literally, like, whew, spooky. If we could have gotten to the punchline faster, this one would have had me real good, was the you can even be spooky on the go, and then all of the, like, fog was coming out of just the nozzle. Like, that shit was... And then the spooky pumpkin where we just like set it on top of the pumpkin and then had to pour the water on it. That was the humor. And it was meant to be awkward. 
and I stand by it, but very slow. Very slow. So, so still from five years ago, this was our like big skit of the year. I had ideas for it. We had planned it for a long time, but then the execution of it just want want. Previously called slutty uniforms since has been changed to sexy uniform, but the premise is that what if we had to use the costumes that they give women for Halloween as their intended jobs. That's the premise. I don't know how obvious it is in the video. We shall see. I'll get it. We're here about a noise complaint. Did this. I said I wasn't gonna pause in the middle of these things, but I wanted to just make you aware of how few people we could get to act in these skits. <laughs> you don't even have to look closely. If you just use your eyes, you will see that um, Monica and I are the policemen, and Mike is the guy getting in trouble, but the three of us are also on the couch wearing hats. That's, that's as many people as I could get to be in the skits. Zoom back a little bit so that I can just react. You did this. Come on in. have much to say about that one. The outtakes of that one are great. They, they just hired me to hang up some rope. Maybe I'm doing a bigger job, you don't know. Got your dog. What about that one? Oh! <laughs> another dog! Come on! <laughs> Do you ever feel like we're just hanging out with dogs? <laughs> also, I tried my best with the special effects and the special effects makeup. I feel like the jokes were not obvious enough. It wasn't like punchy enough. The acting, 
I apologize again. It got better, guys. This is our first year of doing skits, okay? When you see the top five, like, don't be like, oh, don't do skits, those are terrible. Like, when you see the top five, like, the quality got way better. This was five years ago. I wanted there to be more difficulties in having to interact with the environment in the crappy, sexy costumes that that they have for Halloween. But there just weren't enough things that we could interact with. I don't know. Of those three, that one has the most views and I love it the least. Here we go. This is from three years ago. Halloween childhood. Childhood. Halloween childhood versus 20s. Well, like early 20s. Or like high school is kind of more what this video portrays, but we'll just do it anyway. So, tell me who you are. I'm a princess. And I'm a mouse. Do you like my crown like this? Yeah, that's great. What are you even? I'm a mouse. Duh. Trick or treat! Hey girl! Woo! Party! Oh man, I only got three Tootsie Rolls. I hate Tootsie Rolls, I was trained you. Starburst? Yes! This one is supposed to be like Starburst, and then these ones are supposed to be chocolatey. Alright. Cheers. Mmm. So it's your roll. Whoa. You're a stupid princess. You're a stupid mouse. Where'd your nose go? I don't know. Ha ha, no nose. Ha ha, no nose. My boobs look really good today. Oh my god, we should take a selfie. We should take a selfie. Oh my god, he looks so okay. good. Alright, just pose with me. Oh my god, chat! And look at that, Monica isn't dead. These videos are all really short. Wait, I think there is like one more thing. Halloween. Do you want to get some Tootsie Rolls? You know, they're gross. Let's get Starburst. These are candy corns. That's nasty. We'll get them both. No! No! <laughs> Get those children some candy. The adulthood part was funny, I thought. But I, in all honesty, I never had that 20s part that I was trying to portray, so it was all very inauthentic and it felt that way. I was like, is that, is that what Halloween looks like in your 20s? I don't know. I went right from trick-or-treating to like sitting on my couch doing nothing. That party thing, that never happened to me. So it seemed inauthentic because it was inauthentic. I enjoyed the artsy shot of like just the candy wrappers and just the shot glasses. I thought that was pretty good. But other than that, I don't know about that one. That one also got 57,000 views. Which, yikes. I don't know if it's just like me because I was there and because I'm overly critical of the things that I've made, but I know that I made better later on. Like I know it. And that one was not good to me. Like that's one of the ones that I cannot watch anymore. Ooh, here's another one. Okay, okay. So then, Two years ago, I made this Halloween Expectations versus Reality. I forgot about this one. 
Hopefully it's good. Please be good. Please, one of these, be good. No, you know what? The first two, I stand by. <laughs> Alright, two years ago, Halloween expectations versus reality. After this ad. Are you almost ready? Uh, I guess. What, what are you? Uh, a pumpkin? Could you get me some, like, black construction paper maybe and then... Alright, these are for the kids, and I will just have one. Maybe a couple more. I'm gonna just grab a couple of these. Don't mind if I do. So much for my diet. So far, so good. And then gently, gently. Fuck. All right, I'm gonna do something completely unique this time. Why do people do this? I don't understand. Hey guys, thanks for watching Halloween Expectations vs. Reality. Oh, that one only has 1.7 thousand views, but I stand by that one. Um, that one is too real. <laughs> Several of the moments in that video are actual moments. Like when we set the spider on it, it was supposed to just like dangle there and look stupid, but it literally pulled all of the webbing that we'd been working on just down. Like the webbing was supposed to look stupid, like and bad, but the spider wasn't supposed to tear it all down and we were just like... <laughs> I think that one's pretty good. I think that one's pretty funny. I... We, the, the part where we were trying to do the like fancy drinks, I literally had to use like like cornstarch and water to make the like different layers of stuff like I I can't I actually cannot get that to work for me but again very short that's uh, not the way of YouTube anymore YouTube's all about that long form video now am I right 
So that was actually the last video. There's a definite progression in like quality and acting and editing, but I stand by that. I stand by the awkward humor. Stay tuned for my top five favorite skits and my top five cringiest or bottom five least favorite skits, whatever I end up calling those. And um, let me know if you think it'd be fun to have a, an occasional skit on this channel. But Friday we're going to get back to doing some good old fashioned videos, which is going to be kind of a focus on this channel, even though I kind of just want to do like whatever the heck I want. Um, let me know what you thought of my cringy Halloween videos, if you laughed even once at them, if they brought a smile to your face. Some of you from my old channel that have come over to this one, hey, hello, how are you? Thanks for supporting me through this trying time. And thanks for rewatching all of those cringy videos with me that you possibly saw the first time. That being said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like it, subscribe it, bop it, twist it, pass it, and don't ask questions, just go with it.